Right, we have here a plethora of Range Rover Sport gear knobs. So this is for the Range Rover Sport from 2005 to 2009. So your gear knob will look something like this. Now, the inserts go pretty manky after a while. I've got a whole collection of dodgy inserts that go, some of them they start like peeling. Some of them they, they sort of almost wear the chrome off. I've got some, we've got some rare ones that we get in. See there, it's sort of, the chrome is lifted. It's sort of flaking off. They don't last very well. The leather actually wears pretty well. I'll be honest, the, weather, the leather does wear well. Now for a while we have sold the wood one, so this is the Zebrano wood, this is the oak, this is the cherry, this is the black piano. And Land Rover also do them with an ivory leather. And this is a brand new one, and you can buy these if yours, that's what a new one should look like. And it's, it's actually a chrome, slightly matte chrome effect. Um, now, what I wanted to show you today was a lot of people don't want to spend the money on the gear knob because the gear knob itself is all right. It's this sort of insert so what we've had and you can't buy the inserts on their own so what we've done is we have had some made and we've got these little look at these lush boxes these have just come in and in there we have got an insert and it's made it's a solid metal insert so this one's brush stainless and this one look good george yeah yeah and that one there is a polished stainless. wow that is bling that is bling bling. Right, here we go. So what I'm going to show you is how to fit these. Now we've already done the video and I'll put the link, is that right? Yeah? Yep. Put the link there on how to remove the gear knob. But basically you've just got to put it and give it a big pull, pull and pull up. And the gear, also I'll show you how to, how to strip one of these down. So what you've got to do, I'll do it on a new one, but this one's broken. But what you've got to do is you've got to get the a screwdriver in here right and then you have to push this top bit out okay now this one's broken it should have two tabs here okay but when you go in with the screwdriver you've got to be careful not if you go too low you'll get this yellow plastic you want to go in and get above that so when you look in the front there you don't you want to you don't want to be going down at this angle you want to be going sort of as close to the roof as you can Right, so let's see if we can do this. So this is a brand new one. Now, the, the trick I've got to be careful with is, I don't want to damage this one. And you've got to be careful not to put too much pressure under that bit there. So you want to just yeah, work it up. All right, yeah, it looks good. And keep pushing it in a bit more if you can. There you go. And it should come out nicely. And this is what holds it in, is these two little grips here. And they just grip in. Now, they've also got this sort of sliders that grip on this teeth. So when you put it in, you sort of have to put it in. And then when you reinsert these plastic ones, if you're, if you're swapping these plastic bits about, you've got to give it a real, and it'll sort of click back in. But what we've got is we've got these other inserts. So let me use this one. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna, these, you've got the two tabs. Okay, now if, depending how well they lock in, we may have to, right, right, and we will put, do some, I mean, they do stay in pretty well, actually, but what we'll do is we'll give some silicon, I'll go and grab some silicon now, and we'll put a bit of silicon in there, and we'll just add a bit of silicon. Um, but, it, but we have got the, we have got the grip there, the little teeth that grip on those rails at the back. Okay, so actually I'm going to put it on this new one, because I've just noticed this one is, is actually broken. You can see the top here. This bit's broken across here. You got that focus there. Um, and it looks like this one's actually broken here as well. I think it should have two sets of these teeth here. So let me go and put, fit it on that new one. All right, so I just pop this one out of this brand new one. Okay, right. So where, right, which one are we going? Let's, let's, let's have a look at that brushed one in there. Are we, are we, which one do we? Let's have a look how this one looks in here. Oh, that's pretty. In fact, on that new one, that that is staying in there pretty well. Um, but let me get a, as we're gonna send it out with the silicon. So on this one, treat the silicon. Now I'm gonna suggest, there's an area at the top there, and then try and get some down that sort of sp spine. 
Right there. spine. You might want to. I might try it on this one. See how it looks. Alright, so there you go. Get that to. There we go. And then you want to leave that about. Leave that 12 hours. Leave that overnight. Do it in, in the evening. And then that will be your gear knob insert replaced. Um, quick top tip. If you're worried about any silicon or any silicon gets anywhere where it's not supposed to, baby wipes. Baby wipes are the dream for getting rid of any any silicon. There you go.